were on the wall. Who's the cutest one of all? The cutest one is you, cute doll. It always was, always has been, and always will be. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Cute Doll Podcast. Hi my little cute dolls, hi my little cute action figures, and hi my little cute puppets. I see you all, a hi, and welcome back. Um, my other Chanel and my Louis Vuitton is like in a cupboard, so like literally, you're gonna have to deal with this one. Um, my ex-boyfriend gave me this Chanel, I made a lot of content about those adventures. But I finally wanted to just take out my badge from the bag. It's been in there the whole time and just add it to the other badges I have. I just really, I really just keep forgetting, honestly. So this hat I got from TwitchCon Las Vegas 2023. So cute, no regrets. Um, on this mermaid statue, I have all my other TwitchCon badges, my prized possessions, this one's my first TwitchCon ever, so cute. This one is um, TwitchCon Las Vegas 2023, and this one is TwitchCon Europe 2024, and this one is TwitchCon San Diego 2024. So I've been to four TwitchCons all together. My favorite was TwitchCon San Diego 2024 for sure. When I became a star, and a celebrity and famous. I really wasn't going to talk about the bod, but let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk about it. So, for the bod, like literally, that badge survived in that Chanel bag. Like, I took that this Chanel bag to the airport, everything. Like, it just doesn't get squished because it has such good formation, that bag. But actually, I don't want to tell you the next Chanel I want to get because, and I'm not going to buy it for myself because it was going to be painful buying one Chanel for myself. So maybe I'll try to get someone to buy it for me. I don't know. But I know exactly what one I want next. Highly requested video. Proof that I'm not wearing the same skirt every day. It's almost a little therapeutic. I know exactly, and I know exactly what color, and you know what else? I saw someone walking around with it in real life. Like, that's how badly I've been, like, manifesting it. Like, I know for sure. You guys would never guess, like, the next Chanel I want, honestly. Pretty. It looks like a strawberry sorbet. So you can sleep peacefully at night knowing that I'm rotating on like 9, 10, 12, 12 skirts. Okay, so hey guys! So um, be sure to grab my book. It's called Dear Diary Genius Tellos by Kidal. And it's at Amazon.com. It's nice to have at your bedside. You can also find it on cutedollhouse.com or linked at the top of the page. We are also rolling live. Three people were waiting for me to start my stream. Oh my God, I feel so good to be your favorite streamer. You just know, you just know I'm gonna show up. You know I'm gonna show up and if I'm not showing up, I'm cosplaying somewhere and making a vlog for you. I got you always. No days off here, no days off. Okay guys, so let's talk about the body. Um, I don't remember what day of no crumble this is. I wanna say this is day three no crumble cookies. Whoa, look at it. So I want to tell you this story. When I woke up this morning, first of all, I had a nightmare. I just really can't stop thinking about it. Oh my God, I wish I could tell you guys, but it's so gruesome, I can't tell you. And oh my God, it was such a cool dream. I wish I could tell you. Oh my God, okay, so okay. Okay, I was literally in a movie last night, like in my dreams. Okay, so um, when I woke up this morning um, and I got up, first you're laying flat and then you get up, I literally, all my stomach here, it, you know how those men have like those six packs? I know that sounds really scary for me, 
but like I literally had one of those like getting up out of bed like you know how you use your abdomen stomach muscles to get up out of bed I literally got up and I was looking at my stomach and it did that but yeah um <laughs> like I had like man muscles guys anyways so oh my god look at it it looks so good okay so um this is no crumble cookies only eating healthy the only unhealthy thing I ate is key lime pie for two days. I had one slice each day. I might get some more today because you only live once. Um, so what happened was um, to prove, okay, I wasn't gonna say it. Okay, to prove I don't really care about weight, I, cause I was telling you guys, I was trying to use it as a measurement and then I really don't care like how much I weigh, that I'm never gonna tell you guys first of all how much I weigh because, okay, first of all, the number is really low. And second of all, um, I don't want anyone to compare themselves to me because honestly, this is me bragging. It's like really due to my genetics. Like look how small my wrists are. Look at my, and this runs in my family on my dad's side and my aunts all have this. Um, like my bones are all tiny and I'm not supposed to have this much like weight on me like i'm very small framed so i'm supposed to be tiny and i'll insert the picture of when i was 18. like this is my 18 year old body so i'm naturally supposed to be very petite and small whatever so like yeah well i'm 35 now so like obviously there's like changes to your body you get older whatever not as slamming as the 18 year old bond, but I love that picture. Uh, someone took it for me in Puerto Rico. He actually took me to Puerto Rico um, as a gift. And he took that picture of me and he taught me how to swim. I love that swim too. I don't, I don't have it anymore though. I think it's in my childhood home though. But anyways, um, that swim is from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know why I was so into red polka dots. But, like, my first date picture was also, dress was also red polka dots. So um, to prove that I don't care about weight, I literally, even though I've been eating only healthy and no crumble cookies, I've only been gaining weight. But I actually don't mind. If any of the like gym rats are in my audience, I think I am uh, bulking and cutting. I don't know now, I don't know. All I know is that I'm not gonna change it. Um, I feel like in the mornings and also like when I did the dance on my for my TikTok this morning. to like weigh yourself the next day and you probably went up in weight so like it's gonna be like one like remember that one time i came on here and i was like hey guys i lost two pounds last night well it's not like i come on here and then every single day i'm like ah, i lost two pounds again like no like it's like it's always consistent or it goes up 
and then all of a sudden I lose like two pounds overnight. 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 It's crazy. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, so yeah. So I actually got new curves. So, okay. I wanted to show it off. So I realized this morning, I was thinking about it. I'm like, I'm like, there's no way I'm doing this wrong. Like, if you eat healthy, you can't do it wrong. You can't really, you can't see it. Yeah. See, like, how my back is? Like, this is all new. Like, so every single day when I used to come online for the podcast, I used to face forward and be like, hi guys, the bot is slamming. And even if I go to the side, like, there's nothing, like, it's flat, like, I'm skinny. But, like, basically, I would only focus, like, on these lines to call myself skinny. But for the first time in my life, I'm looking at, like, the whole body. And I'm, like, looking at, like, the back. And, like, I didn't have all these shapes before. And it's actually doing something, the healthy food. So I'm just going to let it do what it's doing. I mean, there's 100% no harm, no risk in just eating healthy food and not eating co crumble cookies. Also, about the crumble cookies, I wanted to say that I realized, okay, if you look at my last two podcasts, they're, like, five minutes they're like seven minutes and three minutes three minutes and 24 seconds and seven minutes and like something seconds and the reason for that is i believe that because and you notice that was my day one and day two of no crumble cookies and i think this is my day three so i believe that i was detoxing from the crumble cookie and i was um what did they call that I forgot what they call that. I forgot, I might remember later. I was detoxing from the crumble cookie. I was coming down from the crumble cookie. That's what I wanna say. Oh my God. And that's why I felt like so sad. I literally have felt like all my emotions, process them, I am proud to say I'm no longer in love with anyone. I, I hate this feeling because it just feels like heartless and empty and blah. And like, it's so much more fun to be in love, but honestly, it's not fun to be in love with somebody who doesn't like you back. It just sucks. It's like, okay, this is just, I can't do this level of delusion. I'm a different kind of delulu, so I can't do that. I can't do, I cannot do the one way unreciprocated Romeo and Juliet, unrequited love, cannot do it. So um, yeah, I'm officially not in love with anyone. Of course I could be lying because you guys already know I'm a liar. So anyways, yeah, the pot is swimming. Oh my God, I love it. No, I love it. And it's so much easier to move around. Like I feel so energetic. I have to order food. I do not know what I want to get. And I don't know. Because I do want to eat like the fish eggs, but I don't want to eat the And you can't just order only fish eggs from this place. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to eat, but I'm hungry and I need to eat. I don't have food right now, so I need to order something. Okay, so giving the people what they want. Dear diary. Twitch partner was, I'm going to like try to mask the name. So, okay. Twitch partner, if you want to know who it is, just look at my other videos. Twitch partner was in my chat last night. He's a big Twitch streamer. Support League of Legends pro player. Do you think he likes me? What is he doing here? What's he doing here? That's the that's bigger than a bus. XO XO Q doll. Okay, and I also wrote this last night, and I wrote this for um, this podcast. I don't remember what I wrote, but let's see. I manifest a better life. Wait, do I want to say this? Hold on. Well, I'm not editing this video. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure I wrote it for you guys. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, whoa, like, I can't be telling the secrets here. I was like, okay. I manifested, I manifest a better life for myself. But don't be jealous. If you want me to tell you how I manifested it, subscribe and get me and... Let's get this video to um five likes. <laughs> and then I will make a video. Love you. Bye. Okay, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Be sure to grab my merch. Um, Are you cute doll merch linked in my description box. 
It's um, inspired by my fans at San Diego TwitchCon 2024. They literally came up to me and they said, are you cute doll? And we took pictures and videos together. It was so fun. Nice meeting all of them. I have that video on my YouTube and it was such a special moment that I made a merch line off of it. I designed the merch logo in Photoshop myself with my own little fingers and I even did it on my stream and I actually think I made it in 2020. So um, it's embroidered, uh, the logo is embroidered so it won't wash off and the cotton is really nice. It's collabed with Under Armour so it's very high quality and has a lot of thread count. And also be sure to um, follow me everywhere Rate my podcast five stars, rate my book five stars on Amazon, write me a nice review, and um, subscribe to me on Twitch. You can subscribe to me for free on twitch.tv slash doll if you have Amazon Prime. Okay, I love you guys, and make sure to shop till you drop on my Amazon storefront linked at the top of my page. It would mean so much to me, and I promise you will like all of my products, especially the sodas. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Bye.